Hello everybody, welcome to the fifth video in the series and today the video is about scripting a hexagonal structure and transforming it to get a shell kind of form and then developing it according to the desired design. The first step in the process is to generate these hexagonal cells on the surface imported from Rhino and I'm considering the values of u and v as 9 and 12 to achieve a narrow hexagon as per the design. The second step of the process is to remove the non-hexagonal cells. So this can be done using a boolean condition of equality. So the cell, if the cell doesn't have six sides, then the curves and the points of the non-hexagonal curves can be removed using curl pattern component. The third step is to scale these hexagonal curves using the scale component and we can use the attractor point to remap these hexagon cells according to the desired design condition. So here I am considering the scale factor to be from 0.9 to 0.3 and then I merge those primary curves and the secondary scaled curves so as to loft them to create a surface. After this, it's all about how we transform or how we want the design to be. I wanted to rotate these curves parametrically and individually in different angles. So to do that, we need to find the normal to each cell. 
as the surface is undulated and it's uneven. So to do that, we need to have uh, the evaluate surface and surface closest point uh, component in which we can find the normal to these curves and move it to the desired direction. I have moved these curves to different levels as I desired them to be and the next step to achieve would be rotating these curves in the different normals and this I wanted to do it with the remap component so that I gave an angle from minimum to maximum. I am comfortable in working with radians so I used radians to remap and I have used minimum as 6 and 26 as the maximum to just get a slight deflection in angles and that would be my fourth step.
fifth step, I piped all the internal curves so as to produce a roof to the voids and also it defines the surface and this can be done using the pipe component. So, that, so that's it. These are just one way of steps to produce such an hexagonal form and this is how the desired output has come out to be. Hope you will enjoy the video. Thank you and have a nice day.